15, it's uh, in, growing up in Manchester in November 1977. Actually, I didn't pay because somebody smashed the doors in and we got into the Queen Elizabeth Ballroom at Bellevue and watched the Clash play. Uh, and it probably, uh, probably had a big influence on my life, my outlook, my political outlook and my musical taste. And it was fantastic that uh, 10 years ago, in two, uh, just over 10 years ago, November 2002, Joe played his last London gig uh, on behalf of striking firefighters. And that says something about a man. Uh, and we want to say thank you to him for that. And it's a bit ironic that, uh, that Joe Strummer died shortly after that. And bear in mind this was a, a pop rock icon that uh, at his funeral there were a large number of firefighters dressed very smartly in uniform, standing to attention to pay respect to someone who'd given us that solidarity. Uh, and that's why uh, we want to remember him tonight uh, and in the future. I just I won't be done too long, but uh, Glenn Matlock coming on shortly. But uh, it was mentioned earlier, you will have seen the incident at the Apollo Theatre earlier this week. There were 12 fire and 8 fire engines at that uh, incident. Large numbers of people brought out, rescued by firefighters. It could have been very, very serious. Large numbers of people could have been killed. Uh, and you know the sickening thing about that is three of the fire stations that attended that incident will be closed in the next few weeks as a result of cops in the fire brigade inflicted by Boris Johnson. That's sickening and it's appalling that the press haven't picked up on the fact that the firefighters who are out there putting their safety on the line to save people in theatre land are seeing their fire stations closed. And I'd urge you to go back tonight, get on the emails, petitions, email, tell, what, tell, tell Boris Johnson what you think of those cops and closures. And we've got another fight that's going on because uh, uh, our pensions are under attack. It may sound very boring at a, a music concert, but our pensions are our wages. We fought for them over many years, and the government has come along, ripped up the contracts that firefighters have had for many years, and told firefighters who are going to be sent into burning buildings that at the age of 16, they're supposed to have the same fitness standards as someone at the age of 20. It's absolute nonsense, I'm sure you understand that. And that's why firefighters up and down England and Wales have been taking strike action. Unfortunately, we're coming into Christmas, and it's not such a happy Christmas for all your firefighters. It's gone Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, we will be on strike. So if you're having a drink Christmas Eve, when you're having a family party, perhaps you could just spare a minute to think about your firefighters or possibly get down the picket line and uh, share a mince pie or a small glass of uh, whiskey or port or whatever it is you have uh, in your house and uh, sell your, tell, tell your firefighters that you stand with them in that struggle. Well, I want to say again thank you for everyone who's attended, for the bands who play, the people particularly who've organised this. You've got uh, great uh, music still to come. Thank you very much. Solidarity to you from your firefighters and the Father